this is the task given in GSP 515 actually so we have to do this as the challenge lab so basically first in this cell it asks about project ID and location it will be present in the your lab thing here you can get your project ID and location and you can copy paste it here then next what you have to do is run these all cells and task 3.1 is to import the model name so it's given here copy paste gemini 2.0 flash 001 take this model id and keep it here so we'll keep it so this is this has been run now task 3.2 is insert correct class name so this is the declaration of function declaration class so we'll put the class name as function declaration now the next one is weather 2 now here the class name will be empty first so we'll import we'll keep class name as tool this is the correct and next 3.4 here we should we declared weather tool function weather tool variable so we have to keep here weather tool variable so here see insert tool to use we have to keep this weather tool variable so it is run now let's check whether it is working or not here once wait a second let's see whether it's worked or not so task 1 is completed and task 2 create a function call with Gemini is completed now let's see task 4 whether it is working or not ok so we have to describe video contents here so first of all task 4.1 is to import the model name so here we can see insert correct model name here so we imported Gemini sorry Gemini 2.0 flash 001 like this and next directly go run all these cells next run this cell and in 4.2 we should update many many sections of it let's see what we should update so let me go back so that how it's given I'll show you so basically we have to fill these three capital letters once so first of all input correct class name so here we should keep class name as part and file URI is here so copy from here copy from here and keep it here and coming to met correct method name here you should keep keep it as generate content stream so now it will generate the correct output
now you can see the response is generated now you can see the response is generated now let's check the progress now so it has been done so this is the process we have to do to complete this challenge lab i'll share the I'll share the Jupyter file for your reference so that you can complete the task. Thank you.